Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on HBAR. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about HBAR. I'm going to start with this. Now how many of you are tired of hearing HBAR is only rumored to be compliant with ISO? So many people say it all the time. Well, HBAR is only rumored to be compliant. That doesn't make it fully compliant. But here's the thing. Compliant or not, HBAR will be part of the new financial system. So let's take a look. We're proud to support MTech Inc. on its new green CBDC framework with Hedera. There is no more secure, high-performance, and energy-efficient network on which central banks can unlock the true value of sustainable CBDCs. That right there tells me HBAR is going to be tied to the new financial system. Somehow, some way. Hedera is owned and governed by the world's leading organization. The one I want to point out is IBM. That right there tells me HBAR will be ISO compliant. The thing about people saying it's only rumored to be, right now all the talk is ISO coins. You know it, I know it. You see it all over crypto Twitter. When a new investor comes in, most likely somebody has told them to invest in the ISO coins. So what do they do? They end up investing in XRP, XLM, XDC, maybe Algo or IOTA. Because again, HBAR is only rumored to be compliant. But we know better as HBAR holders. We know HBAR is going to be part of this. At this point, with all the world-class industry leaders on its governance board, HBAR does not need to be ISO compliant. IBM Hyperledger compliance is favorable for Hedera. HBAR equals a powerhouse. So even outside of ISO, HBAR is an awesome cryptocurrency. It has a ton of value. I believe it's very undervalued right now. But again, newer investors don't know what we know. Running on Hedera, HBAR, CBDC, MTech to pilot a US CBDC in the digital dollar project sandbox program. Then people even mentioned this. They said it's only good for MTech and it only helps XRP. But they tr mentioned HBAR and Hedera. Russia's Prime Minister asked regulators to finalize regulations for cross-border crypto payments, coupled with India CBDC coming and India-Russia relations. So the Reserve Bank of India is to run a pilot CBDC project ahead of possible rollout this financial year. The RBI has been consulting Fisk Global, a Hedera HBAR council member, who's been holding conferences and workshops with central bankers globally on CBDCs. So, we know Hedera is tied to IBM. IBM is the main player in the new financial system, in my opinion, because they're at the heart of the entire system. Plus, we see them tied to MTech, and now Fisk Global, all tied to CBDCs. So, even if Hedera wasn't, compliant. I believe they're truly going to be compliant. They're still going to be tied to the new financial system one way or another. The thing is, I make videos like this so newer investors can come and watch them and understand exactly what they're investing in. Utility, use case. Maybe they're investing in the fourth industrial revolution. Maybe they watch one of these videos and decide not to invest in the meme coin of the day. Teleswap DEX is the first DEX to support Ethereum's ERC-20 token standard on Hedera, enabling participants in the Hedera H4 ecosystem to swap between HTS Hedera token service and ERC-20 tokens in a cost-effective or cost-efficient and sustainable environment. Again, here's the thing with Ethereum. Now, we know they're going green, supposedly, but who knows? Anyway, outside of that, Ethereum is still going to end up being congested, and they're not getting rid of the gas fees. 
if something's not cheap, people don't want to use it. You know how many people I talked to that said, hey, I'd invest in this crypto or that crypto if I didn't have to pay Ethereum fees. Older investors that are still investing got used to those fees, but if a better solution comes along, they're going to use it. Less and less people will use Ethereum in the future. Then there's this. this now this is big for Hedera. We're going live on Hedera mainnet very soon. Hedera has given us a grant to build out this system. And we're launching a custom ecosystem just for Hedera. Where users can pay in HBAR. And then this is all about travel. This is very big. Think about it like this, okay? The travel industry is massive. You can open your own travel agency. You can be your own travel agent. And guess what? You could use H4. We're using a unique Web2 travel infrastructure to introduce the benefits of blockchain into the legacy travel ecosystem. A B2B Shopify for travel that allows anyone who wants to resell travel online to in instantly launch their own booking engine. That's massive. And it's built with Hedera. So Zenny has signed up major partnerships for Zenny Pay and is launching soon on Hedera Mainnet. We see how you could it's used at hotels. You're going to be able to use it for tickets, everything. Committed sizable grant to help fund build out of Web 3.0 travel ecosystem. Hedera will house the wallets for Zenny's travel ecosystem. Zenny will create a custom travel ecosystem for Hedera community, which accepts payments in HBAR. That's big. Our blockchain protocols are customized for online travel. Zenny Pay is built on a consensus service and token service platform. The consensus service acts as a trust layer for the Zenny Pay app, and the token service enables cost effective mining of Zenny tokens. That's very big. Honestly, think about it. Anyone can become a travel agent instantly. And it uses HBAR. Another real world use case for HBAR. We're excited to see that Hash Guild, the NFT marketplace that rewards both creators and collectors, has launched on the Hedera network. Further driving growth in the rapid and expanding HBAR NFT community. I have said it all along that HBAR is the NFT powerhouse of crypto. And again, HBAR builds outside of NFTs. Green coins will win. Guess what? HBAR will win. And again, you look at HBAR and you look at the new financial system. We know it's going to be part of it. It's going to be tied to payments inside of it, which is going to bring, bring a ton of value to HBAR. But let's look at outside of the new financial system. Tied to music, NFTs. The music world continues to grow. The NFT world continues to grow. NFTs with real world use case and utility adding value to HBAR. On top of that, you have Web3, which I believe HBAR is going to be the Web3 powerhouse. Then you have Metaverse. Then on top of that, you have SocialFi, which is coming. And all of that continues to grow year over year because technology continues to grow year over year, all adding value. So if you're a new investor, HBAR would be a great place to start. You got to look outside of the FUD that people spew because right now the bear market is upon us. People get frustrated when their cryptocurrencies aren't moving. I see it all the time. People that bought into XRP long ago tell me all the time, I just wish the price would take off already. You know, this is getting very frustrating. People I got into HBAR say the same thing. I wish the price would move already. And then I tell them about new partnerships that are going on. I tell them, you know, hey, look, they just got into the travel industry. They just got into this. And, but the price doesn't move. People worry. You, as an H bar holder, for as long as I've been an H bar holder, I'm so patient. I learned more patience than I've ever thought I would have learned getting into crypto. 
nothing phases me anymore. We go into a bear market, fine. Whatever, so be it. And I just wait it out. Because I know at the other end of this tunnel is the euphoric moments where the price is shooting up and everybody's excited. And all of a sudden, HBAR is the greatest cryptocurrency ever made because they're getting rich off of it. That's how these markets work. It's not a get-rich-quick scheme. I do believe we're going into a full-blown utility run at some point. I plan on staking. I don't plan on ever selling any of my crypto at this point. I used to think that way, like, okay, I can't wait to cash this out, get a big lump sum of money, and then get back in. But who knows the entry points are going to be? Because none of us have ever seen a utility run before. We're going to have to wait and see what happens. With that said, I'm going to wrap up today's video. I want to thank you all for watching. Please click the like and subscribe button as it helps this channel grow. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.